whatever your demo reel is a huge consequence to your career, especially in this era of Zoom auditions and self-tapings galore. Um, casting and directors are seeing your self-tape, but then they want to know more about you, see more about you. So they go to the, your IMDb channel or they, they have it uploaded from your agent or whatever actors access they're using. And they look at your demo reel to see okay, what's their range? What else, they, what else can they do? What do they look like on television? So your demo reel is exceptionally important. Now I have a couple of videos out about how to make a demo reel. What is a demo reel? What's the best way to make a demo reels? What I've been asked is some, to see is some examples of what are good demo reel scenes. Uh, so uh, I had a class and I showed a bunch of examples of demo reel scenes. So here's some examples of demo reel scenes that really, really work. Her dying has been weighing over us, over both of us for so long. It's colored so much of- Look, if you must know. What? If you must know, it was me. I was the one who didn't want you there. It wasn't out of respect to my mother or my father or my grandmother, it was me. I didn't want to see you. I didn't want you there, Patty. I didn't want to have to hold your hand and comfort you because of how cruel my mother was to you. I didn't want that. I didn't want to have to deal with your display. Display? Your display of love for me. Your concern. It was always about you whenever I thought about how it would be if you were with me. I didn't want you there, Patty. I'm sorry. I guess when something catastrophic like this happens, you get to thinking. Yes, well. I don't love you, Patty. That's a stage scene from a stage play, like a really great, but relatively you know, obscure stage play. And so nobody in the film and TV world is gonna know what that is, but it's perfect. It's perfect branding because Ben is like the overachiever, attractive geek, the kind of um, intelligent nerd with the big heart kind of thing. And then you put him in a drama and you go, that's it, that's fantastic. So it totally sells his brand, but also it sells his acting and it looks fantastic. So Ben does some audition, you know, with a blue screen behind him and it's got 10 lines and it's for the young guy, whatever. And they're going to say, can we see what else we got? You know, or they're going to go to IMDb. I hope it's on IMDb, Ben. <laughs> Why aren't you on IMDb? Get on IMDb like tonight. I am on IMDb and I will put it on. It. Fucking please. Because they're going to go, what else do you got? They're going to look at that. And I'm telling you, dude, you're, I'm, I'm, because of the quality of it, the, the intelligence of it because of the filming of it like i'm in here already Much of look if you must know what if you must know it was me the agent in the atlanta agent went oh he's good at that moment so you're like 12 seconds in i was the one who didn't want you there and it's also because, I mean, you look great. You got your co-star, Rihanna. She's fantastic and she looks good. And so it's like smart. It's like smart business. It's an excellent, excellent scene. Isn't that beautiful? And it's so like, you guys are doing these extraordinary scenes in class, but then you go and you do them again, it, uh, shoot them. Uh, and then Ben's smart. So he continues his demo. He has three scenes and they're all contrasting, but not conflicting scenes. So they contrast in the sense of, this is dramatic, you know. Hey, what do we know about this new girl? Who? You know, the new girl, Summer, in Vance's office. Dude, I heard she's a bitch from hell. Really? Patel tried to talk to her in the copy room the other day, and she was not having it. Hey, maybe she was just in a hurry. Yeah, and maybe she's some uppity, better than everyone, super skank. To him. I know. She's pretty hot. 
That makes me so mad. Why is it pretty girls always think they can treat people like crap and get away with it? Don't know. Like, just because she has high cheekbones and soft skin. And real nice And teeth. maybe the world's most perfect breasts. Just because of that stuff, she can walk around like she's the center of the universe? Women. You know what? Screw her. You haven't even met and I can't stand it already. No, no. <laughs> I love that scene because you're so dumb. Like, they're such dumb men. They haven't even met the girl. They've already judged her. They've already, like... Uh, I love 500 Days of Summer. <laughs> so and they already, like, put her away. It's so good. It's so dumb. They were like, oh, he can play, like, that doofus office nerd comedy thing, right? Which is super. It's like, And it's just short. It doesn't really, you know, it's not... Um, it's not, it, do, it doesn't go on too long. We're like, okay, we get it. We get the, we get the contrast. It's the same character. It's the- yeah. But when I'm hungry, I eat. And when I'm tired, I sleep. I've seen you eat and sleep. Not in the middle of a crisis. What crisis? We're just yelling. You don't consider this a crisis. Our whole marriage is hanging in the balance. It is. When did that happen? Just now. It's suddenly become very clear to me that you and I have absolutely nothing in common. Because I won't go walking barefoot in the park? You've got no case. Adultery, yes, but cold feet, no. Don't oversimplify this. I'm angry. Can't you see that? It's 2.30. If I can get to sleep in half an hour, I'll get about three hours sleep. I'll call you from work tomorrow and we'll fight by phone. You will not go to sleep. You will stay here and fight to save our marriage. If our marriage hinges on those fishbowls in Pelmenski, then it's not worth saving. If you care to join me in our tiny bed, we're sleeping from left to right tonight. You won't discuss it. You're afraid to discuss it. I married a... a coward! Would you bring in a pail? The closet's dripping. <laughs> so you get, so you get the, uh, you get the extremely dramatic, the extremely comedic, and then the mixture of both. And you're getting all the senses. It's such a good demo. It's, it's, it's absolutely, no, those are, I'm, I know those are not actual films, Tenzing. Those are all, and if I'm, if I'm correct, that's the same apartment bedroom in the scene one and scene three. That's the yeah. same. It's his yeah. apartment. And all three of those actors are all Actors Foundry actors. And that scenes he's done in class. That last one is Neil Simon's Barefoot in the Park. But again, they're like, an act, a, a, a film TV agent doesn't know Barefoot in the Park. And they, they would just go, that was great. That was so lovely. Like, like, that's how you're marketing yourself these days. Do you ever go out with somebody and just lie? question after question like maybe you're trying to make yourself look cool or better than you are or something and you just not only really lie but maybe you don't say everything well yeah i think that's a natural thing two people go out on a date something they want to impress the other people or the other person right or they're just as afraid that what they say might make the other person not like them so you've done it well i don't go out much why not just never really uh, found anybody I think I'd like to go out with. I bet you say that to all the girls. No, no. You want to make a deal? Okay. What I said before, you know, people afraid to say things, no guts to say the things that are real or something. Yeah. To not do that, to not do what we maybe done before. Let's make a deal. Okay. So I'll tell you everything and you tell me everything and maybe we can get through all the piss and shit and lies that kill other people. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Piss and shit. I wanted to do that. Well... <laughs> Felt good to do, to do what I wanted to do. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, of course. I'm really scared that you're gonna hate me soon. That you're gonna find out stuff about me and you're gonna hate me. No, wh what do you mean? Like, what? You're a police officer, you've got so much, so many good things. You're all together, all straight and put together without problems. I lost my gun. What? I lost my gun after I left you today, and I'm the laughing stock of a lot of people. And I wanted you to know that. I wanted to tell you, it's, it's been on my mind, and I feel like a fool, and I look like a fool, and well, you said that we should just say things, that we should just tell each other what we're thinking and not lie to each other, so... I'll tell you that... This, that I... 
I lost my gun and I'm not a good cop and I'm looked down on and I know that <laughs> and I, I <laughs> I'm afraid that once you find that out about me you might not like me oh my god Jim that I'm was sorry so, that was so great what you just said <laughs> I haven't been on a date since I was married, and that was three years ago, and Claudia, whatever you want to tell me, whatever you think might scare me, it won't, and you should just tell me, and I'll be a good listener to you if that's what you want, and you know, you know, I won't judge you, I know I can do that sometimes, but I won't, and just say it, and I'll listen, and you shouldn't be scared about scaring me or anything that you think I might think, or on and on, and just say it, and uh... I'll listen. You don't know how fucking stupid I am. It's okay. You don't know how crazy I am. It's okay. <laughs> I've got troubles. I'll take everything at face value. I just, I'll be a good listener to you. Well, I started this, didn't I? Didn't I? Fuck! Just say what you want. You'll see. Do you want to kiss me, Jim? Yeah, I do. I've met you. Would you object to never seeing me again? What? Just say no. I won't say no. Claudia, wait. Claudia, wait, please. Let me, what, let what is it? Let me go. It's okay, please. Mm. Just let me walk out, okay? Isn't that great? Isn't that such a good test drive of your abilities? So the acting has to be exceptional, that's number one. Then the scene has to fit the brand, that's number two. And then shoot it professionally so you're showing yourself at your best state because this is the COVID world. We're not hiring you, we're not hiring Nathan Lovey in, in the flesh. We're like looking at his audition and his tape and then we're going, I need to see something else. Uh, and then, and then they're they're studying Nathan Lovey's work, and then they go, uh, uh, "What else do we have?" You know, and they look up on IMDb, and there's his demo, and then they click his demo, or their sound casting workbook, or whatever, and they they click their demo, and then you go, uh, uh, "Oh, oh my God, that's great! Oh yeah, I get it! Oh, I get him! Great, good!" And yeah, afraid, I... hello. I'm sorry, I. Thought you had gone. Margaret said you, all of you were going to lunch. No, I decided not to go. Good. Um, well, I'm glad you're here. I didn't mean to disturb you, but I wanted to return the butterflies. I didn't realize how valuable they were, and I simply can't accept them. You can't? No. But you thought I was gone, so why bring the butterflies? I was going to leave them here with a note. Look, I'm sorry I put you in this position. It wasn't my intention. I, I... Oh, no, it's fine. I put myself there. I didn't. I don't blame anyone, it just, um, it can't happen anymore. No? No. Going back to the city tonight. Good. So here are the butterflies and, um, that's all. Please keep them. I can't keep them. If you're worried about my girlfriend- Oh, I'm not worried about your girlfriend. Perhaps you should worry about your girlfriend. I don't even know your girlfriend. The person I'm worried about is, uh, <clears throat> what? Um, nothing. Can you please just take them back? Because I, I really need to go. <laughs> he hit on you. What? My father, he hit on you, didn't he? Yes, he did. What did you do? What did I do? It's a fair question, Sophie. You're not as innocent as you seem, and I suspect you've been hit on before. Never with such exquisite complication. Are you going to tell me what happened or not? What do you think happened? He kissed me, all right? And it was, I, I'm just very confused right now. Did so you enjoy it? Enjoyed it? I didn't, I was overwhelmed. Oh, overwhelmed, that's good, overwhelmed. So you had nothing to do with it at all. It was rape, huh? You didn't feel anything at all? You know, you fought, but a 64 year old guy, it could be pretty overwhelming. Okay. Overwhelmed was the wrong word. I was thrilled, it was uh, thrilling. Thrilling, which part, the kiss or the rest of it? Was it thrilling to have my father feel you up? Look, I came here to work. This is, a, I, I came here to write. I came here to learn. An aging Nobel literate and his demonic son have both fallen for you simultaneously. If you can't learn from that, you're no writer. That's very amusing. Thank you. Did you sleep with him? 
No, I didn't sleep with him. Are you gonna sleep with him? It's a fair question, Sophie. You came here- I came here to work. Well, other things happened, didn't they? What, am I just his son? Is that all I am to you, his son? You slept with the son when you could have had the man himself. You sold yourself short, didn't you? Got rid of the son now, because dad's the real prize. That is not what I'm doing. It's exactly what you're doing. You said you're leaving anyway, you just said. Well, that explains your relief. Got rid of the son now, so you and dad have a clear playing field. This is impossible. Do you see? Do you see how impossible this is? Already, this whole week has been a nightmare. I go in there 10 hours a day after turning him down, and it is no fucking picnic, but I do it. And I intend to continue doing it, so I cannot do this. You're doing this for your art. That's why you've been dodging me all week. I'm trying to survive. It's gonna save you, isn't it? Make you whole, make you wise. A really great sentence shows you a corner of insight into the human condition. Like you've seen the face of God. That's why Paul has you. You have to get close to it. He's the lodestone, the magic. You have to touch it like the hem of Christ's rope. It's okay. He has me too. All that art, all that support, all that love just out of reach. That big hole inside you and he's the only thing that can plug it up and he's a complete shithead. I should have done it. Is that what you're saying? Quite the opposite, Sophie. I think you know that. I am drowning here. Tell me this. If it were you, me, and nothing else, no one else, what would you say to me right now? It's not possible to do that. It is. He's not here. I'm the only one here. Nikita Sink. Oh, gosh, she's so... Do you see the... the oh, Jesus, it's so good. Uh, watch Nikita's subtlety in her dialogue. Did you... All of you were going to lunch. No, I decided not to go. Good. Um, well, I'm glad you're here. I didn't mean to disturb you, but I wanted to return the butterflies. I didn't realize how valuable they were, and I simply can't accept them. You can't? No. But you thought I was gone, so why bring the butterflies? I was gonna leave them here with a note. Look, I'm sorry I put you in this position. It wasn't my intention. I, I... Oh no, it's fine. I put myself there. I didn't, I don't blame anyone. It just, um, it can't happen anymore. No? No. Look at that. Going Look back that to the shit. city tonight. Good. Look at that. So here are the butterflies and um, that's all. Please. It's like, it's just like unbelievably good nuanced work. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that lovely? So that's the Butterfly Collection by Teresa Rebeck. Uh, a um, kind of unknown Teresa Rebeck play. Fantastic scene. Perfect for Nathan. Hey. Rick. Yeah. Matt wants me to supervise your pre-interview with Brewer's office. I was told. All right. Uh, you're going to be talking to a spokesperson. I'll call him now. Uh, I thought maybe we could do a practice run first. OK. Uh, I'd like to say, with all respect, that I don't feel like I need to be supervised. OK. So you let me do it myself. No, I just meant, okay, I heard you say that. I've been here a year. You've been here three days. Max, working with a group of relatively inexperienced people she doesn't know. I know that. All right. So you let me do it myself? No. Then I'm doing this under protest. I'm sorry? I'm, I'm doing this under protest. What does that look like? It'll be the same. I'm just lodging an official protest. With who? My immediate superior, I guess. That's me. Well, are you writing it down? No. Are you really considering going to 10 o'clock? Don made some compelling arguments. What were they? That growing something from scratch is something that I should experience. Okay. Whoa, whoa, wait, what was that? Nothing. Really? Yeah. I know exactly what you're thinking. I can't say the same. You don't think I'm making a relationship choice? No. That, that this is just a temp gig for me until someone puts a ring on it and I can have kids? I wasn't, I, I You don't think that, that I don't have the same commitment to news that you do? No. Okay, I'll be honest, because the way I phrase those questions, I'm not entirely sure what your answer is meant. I think you have the same commitment to the news that I do. I think kids are great. I used to be one, and I can't remember the third thing, but we- Ring, ring. Thank you. Ring, ring. Hi, it's Glenn Fisher. It's Glenn Fisher? Yes. That's the spokesperson I'm talking to? Yes. I thought it was John Markell. 
Fisher's a press aide who's doing the pre-interview. Okay. <laughs> anyway, good stuff, eh? That's shot on her cell phone, but again, it's the exact right role for the kid, for the actress, and she actually plays that exact role on Designated Survivor. She's actually the news person who's always like, uh, Mr. Vi Mr. Spokesman, Mr. Vice President, and she's like, she's got that same sassy thing going. So that tape got her uh, the the agent that got her the part. Yeah, and then do a professional shot shoot it high end, make it look really good, show them what you look like on TV. The part, when you get to choose the part, choose the perfect part to your brand. The thing that you're like, this is the role that I'm gonna play on television and film for the rest of my life. Then have that and make sure that it's accessible to everybody so that when they're looking at your audition tapes and your self tapes, they go, uh, what else can we see? Oh fuck, Nathan Lovey's good. Yeah, got it? 